Hi everybody. It is very action packed here at Matt Britton today. Like probably the busiest that we've been in a super long time. No, cause you're blocking the, the view. You're blocking, blocking the view. view. You're I blocking the I'm view. Like not a nice view. No, you no. are, but not for this. I want okay. that view. Right. Just to the left. Just takes you, wow. Everything is, is for social media with this woman. So pretty. Okay, okay. I'm ready. You done? Okay. Yeah. We have what are the old cottages. <gasps> oh, oh. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Julie has just been advising all of us to take real care as we come through there. I think we might retire there one day. Okay. Should we go have a look? Okay. okay yeah. we've, got, we've got some plans I for mean, that one. It's quite sad that you're thinking of retirement now. I still think of myself as a spring chicken. I, I mean, mean, I know I'm next not. Next week, I'd like, you know. Look, what? Ready to retire. <laughs> <laughs> I did the risk assessment before no, we you got didn't. here. No, you didn't. This is... This is where you want us to retire? This is a nice cup of tea. I mean, you're, you're aging you're, me already. You're, you're probably You're herbal. talking about retirement and I'm, the I'm dotage. I'm probably having an Earl Grey. And we're aging and, me. You're talking about drinking and, tea. And all we have to do is sit here... What? ...and listen and be quiet and enjoy the noise okay. of the countryside. Welcome to Mapperton, our family home and estate in Dorset in the southwest of England. Julie and I took over running Mapperton a few years ago from my parents, the Earl and Countess of Sandwich. It's a lot of work, but also a lot of fun. This place is full of fascinating stories, extraordinary people, and endless repairs. So please join our family on this journey of a lifetime as we put all our efforts into preserving this magnificent part of England's heritage. Right, well we're here in the back of the farmyard at Coltley and this is quite an exciting place because we have just started doing our plans for mm. converting all of this That's into something new. This as well, because this is a beautiful view right here. Wow. It is a lovely view. Let's go on in here. Okay, let me just barn. get a picture of that. One second. It's uh, really, wait, watch out, because you're messing it up. No, I thought I'd stand in it and you could have me. No, because you're blocking the, the view. You're blocking, blocking the view. The view. You're I blocking the I'm, view. Am I not a nice view? No, you no. are, but not for this. I want okay. that view. Right. Just to the left. Just takes you, wow. Everything is, a, is for social media with this woman. So pretty. Okay, okay I'm ready. You done? Okay, yeah. so come on in here. This at the moment is a pheasant haven. Everything in here is designed to look oh. after and feed pheasants. Um, and that is going to be ending at the end of this year. And all of this will come out. All and this. The, and the plan is like to convert. Like this structure convert this barn. I mean, if you look in here, this, these were cow stalls. So there were cows all wintering oh through here. And, but it hasn't been used for that for about 20 years. Okay, but what, so what's the plan? Because this is a beautiful view. I know, it does have one of the best views. <gasps> look but it. The plan is to convert all of Coltley oh into a place that people can come and enjoy as part of the rewilding project. <gasps> yeah. Right, so, so let me see the so, plans. So, so this, we, haven't, we haven't done the plans for this one. Oh, okay. But this, we would knock down one of these barns. This is just timber and, and corrugated uh -huh. sheeting. Um, and we would create a visitor center over there. Ah, what, what do you think? Yeah, no, no, it's great. So this wouldn't be any accommodation here. This wouldn't be accommodation, no. So we'd have people parking out there, maybe yep. school buses, mini buses, and then we would have an area where people would arrive, they'd throw down their packed lunches, they'd go off on their tour, and then they'd come back again. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. So, so this is all so coming down. So that's this building. Yeah, this okay. is all coming down. Please help support this important part of England's heritage by becoming a patron at patreon.com forward slash Mapperton Live. So, okay. So coming through here, out of the barn, we have what are the old cottages. <gasps> oh, oh. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Julie has just been advising all of us to take real care as we come through there. Sorry. Is that my fault? No. Should I have held you? Probably. Was... Okay, you okay? It's all right. Okay. So these used to be cottages with, um, there were two different cottages here. As many as really? 15 people lived at Coltley. You're at kidding me. No, I'm not kidding at all. 
And these are all now oh, redundant twins. buildings. Let's, let's go and have a look inside. Wow! So somebody's so, lived in here beforehand. Well, no, not a long time ago. Not, not for probably 50 or 60 years. Oh my goodness. But that long ago, it, it is possible. So, anyway, so, so this, what, what this, are the plans? So this, this would be converted mm -hmm. into a cottage. This whole thing this, here. This whole thing. So look, look, there you go. Oh my there's, goodness. There's the ground floor <gasps> plan. Oh, it's sitting, got two floors. Sitting room is up that end. Right. Good luck. We're in the dining. No, we're in the, we're in a bedroom. We're in a bedroom. Yeah. Okay, nice bedroom. size bedroom. And, yeah. And and then, then we will be building a first floor and raising the roof slightly. And raising the roof. So what am I in now? You're now in the dining room. In the dining room. This yeah. is good. And then what's in here? And that is the sitting room. And then up above is what's and, going to be. And then up above would be bedrooms. So look, so you've got. So it's going to be, how many bedrooms is that? So I think it's going to be like four or five bedrooms. It says there, bed five. Yeah. That is a so, lot of bedrooms. So this will be a really nice place for people to come and stay on holiday. And so it's going to be a holiday. Um, so it's going to be a holiday. Vacation. But we've got another building over here. When it, which, oh, this which is I, exciting. Which I have a secret plan for. I think we might retire there one day. Okay. Should we go have a look? Okay. okay and yeah. we've, got, we've got some plans for I mean, that one. It's quite sad that you're thinking of retirement now. I still think of myself as a spring chicken. I, I mean, mean, I know I'm next not. Next week, I'd like, you know, look, what? ready to retire. <laughs> <laughs> this is... This is where you want us to retire? This is the barn <laughs> at Coltley. If you come around in here, there's the remains of some quite interesting things. Uh -huh. See if you can work out what it was. Let's see how Remains. good Julie is at agricultural history. What okay. do you think? So there's the remains. Are you? Am I, uh, there's like tiles. Yeah, roof. but look, look what's on the wall over there. Look what's on the wall. On the wall. Now you've got to go through so that Stephen can wall. see. Keep, keep going. Okay, but it's like I love how you're pushing in here with like glass. Look what's on the wall. Yeah, there's a really big clue on the wall. This. No, that's it's a, a big crack. That's not a clue, that's a crack. Clue on the wall. I mean, I don't know what that is. Well, exactly. So that is your clue. That Can you is... imagine? And if you look at that, you've got things coming off it, I've got... which look like pipes. Now, what would you use pipes for in a farm? Looks like they hung things there. No? Do you think they hung animals or something? I don't know. No, that wasn't even close. Okay. So pipes carry, what do pipes carry? Liquid. Liquid. Now, what liquid do you get? Milk, on so it's a dairy farm. Oh, oh my God. there we go. <laughs> Is that the old way to yeah, like get, that to would, extract that would the have milk? Been, well, I don't know whether what that particular bit was doing, but mm. that was doing something important. Anyway, right. let's, let's okay. move out of here. Let's move out of here carefully. Of here. Just, just going to imagine What's what here? this might be like. And then we come into the main barn. Okay, this is where I don't necessarily want to go into. I just think it's quite dangerous. Like, look up above you. Like, one of those Ooh. corrugated roofing yeah. could, like, fall on top of you your head. Do you know what? What's interesting about But this you barn, go ahead. No, no, you, you can come in. It's okay. 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 Health and safety. I, I did the risk assessment before no, we you got didn't. here. No, you didn't. Um, well. You didn't. This is the barn at Coltley. It's got magnificent views that way towards Hook Park, but there's a real problem. And the problem is the foundations. Oh. And there's a clue that the foundations may not be that well behaved. We've got these huge cracks in the wall because the building yeah. is slowly collapsing. It's built on green sand and green sand, as you might imagine, isn't a great surface for building. So the thing is I slowly... <laughs> Anything that says sand, I assume, is quite not, okay. you know. Yeah, so it's slipping down the hill, basically. It would be an amazing, amazing house for people to come and stay in. It's right in the rewilding area of the estate. It might be a really nice place for us to eventually end up. Okay. Um, but, no, but, I mean, I still but think I'm we a just chicken. don't know whether we can get the foundation. So why couldn't you just bulldoze this down? and then rebuild from there. That's what a lot of people will want to know because this doesn't look like it's salvageable. Well, some people come to Mapperton and they look at the stonework and they see that it's crumbling 
and they think, well, why don't you just bulldoze that down as well? Yeah, no, but if I, we bulldoze down everything, we won't have any I know that. Left. That's why I'm asking the question that some people, I'm not saying do it. I've been here You're for a long time. You're not you'd never say that. No, would I would because never say that. Because you recognize that this is a really important exactly. historical it is. feature no, in it the is. landscape that we want to preserve and restore. And in fact, if you look over there and you look at that lintel and that stonework, you can see that that was all pointed and redone relatively recently. Relatively so recently. It's a, so it's a slight losing battle when you look at things the other end. What I really want to show you and get you excited about mm -hmm. is this. Okay. Because <gasps> that is the whole building looking down the hill. And these are the windows so in look, front. There, there is the barn that we're in now. Yes. And I'm going to show you that bit, which is the cow stalls. The real problem is that the cost of restoring this is well in excess of what it would cost to put a new building in here. I know. And that's the problem. Right. So, and that, but that's the story of Mapperton. That is the story everything, of Mapperton. Everything, you, everything costs everything, a fortune. Yeah, it was like stuff creeping up, piling up everywhere. Yeah, I'm just gonna do like a balancing act here. It's quite dangerous. So this is the bit that I really uh -huh. do get excited about. Uh -huh. If we can fight our way through. Okay. These stones and watch out for nettles. Well, you're I have not, big boot, boots nettles. on. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. So this used to be more cow uh -huh. stalls. Okay. So if you can imagine cows. Let me get to my spot and then I'll start imagining. Getting, okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'm, I'm here. I'm going to perch up so here. So we're here. So Very this here. will be the extra wing of the house. So if you look at this here. Oh yeah. You can see that's the barn on that side. Yeah, and then that's the. Oh, <gasps> these are the windows these are the here. Windows. Overlooking. And we'll be looking down towards the sea, towards Hook Park, and I can just imagine you and me in our dotage. Sitting, in our dotage. Sitting in a comp that means old age. Okay. Really. <laughs> sitting. <laughs> that was sit another Latin word. <laughs> sitting, sitting in a comfortable armchair. A nice cup of tea. I mean, you're, you're aging you're, me already. You're, you're probably You're talking about retirement and I'm, the dotage. I'm probably having an Earl Grey. And we're aging and, me. You're talking about drinking and, tea. And all we have to do is sit here. What? And listen and be quiet and enjoy the noise of the countryside. For early access to these videos, behind the scenes content, and other benefits, please become a patron at patreon.com forward slash Matt Live. Hi, everybody. It is very action-packed here at Mapperton today, like probably the busiest that we've been in a super long time. So I have my first ever well-being, what we're calling the winter well-being day today, although it doesn't feel very wintry, but it's like crisp autumn. So it's a well-being day. We've never done this before at Mapperton. We sold out within like a couple of weeks, so then we put another one on that's coming up in January, but this is the first one. So I need to go check. Um, they're arriving soon. I'm gonna go check and see how everything is, but it's a jam-packed day today. So it is a bright sunny day today, which is amazing, but the rose hips. So that smoothie that I made, <laughs> that I didn't poison my husband with. It's not gonna make me ill, is it? No. Okay. You can smell a lot of chlorophyll. No, you can't. I sure can, oh my God, it's overpowering. No, you can't. With actually was so good that we're making it for everybody um, who's arriving today. So we have 20 people, that's the max that um, I put that we could have. Um, so I limited it to 20 people and the rose hips have been picked and I'm going to go check uh, in the coach house just to make sure everything else is set up. So when they get their smoothie, which is again two rose hips, two meddlers, half of an apple, three young leaves of shard, all from the estate, and then oat milk mixed together and that's their smoothie. It's going to be like an orientation meeting in the 17th century hall. So everybody is coming into the house. We're going to have an orientation meeting kind of about what's happening today. And then they do yoga in the morning, followed by foraging because they're going to be making um, some crowns. And then also there's going to be a sound bath as well. They get a plant-based lunch. It's full on. So um, I'm ex really excited, if not a little bit nervous too. So this is Kate, Rambling Rose, who is doing the wreaths today. So they're foraging, aren't they? They're foraging, and then they're gonna make a floral crown to wear home. Oh my God. And I've made a sample that Julie's gonna wear. So <laughs> let's just see. 
There we oh go. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't know. It's good. Your head's smaller than it, mine. I have no, but that's good. That's brilliant. Oh, yeah. so I go love it. Forage and get berries, and nothing Look at this. too big or too special out the garden. But berries. There's lovely little um, rose hips. There's hydrangea florets, and then everyone's going to learn how to make a beautiful floral crown. To there we go. Home, it's so off it's brilliant. So the sunset. this is their like <laughs> mindful craft. They're going to forage and then they can make their crowns, and it's very mindful. And also, Kate um, does helps if those of you who have seen before, like the <laughs> wreaths that we have at Mattperton. <laughs> so in the front door, Christmas the, the coming week. soon. Yeah, I know. I need to put my order in for that. <laughs> or or we can we can you know I can go to your workshop. I think I quite want to do that. Yeah, maybe that's good. Yeah. I'll book you into yeah, that. Yeah, book me into that. Good. Anyway, I mean, well, I wasn't that good. She's the best. Follow her Instagram. We're going to put it there for you um, all to see. So follow Rambling Rose. Such oh, a good Instagram you. name too. It's a good Instagram yeah. name. No, I, uh, I, I ramble a lot. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's me. <laughs> Not Everybody's going to be so excited. Anyway, so yeah, okay, we'll, we'll do okay that brilliant. Later. That's okay. for you to show them. Okay, um, fantastic. Pop that somewhere nice and cool, and we'll teach them how to wire it all. And it's just really good for sort of soothing the mind and concentrating on something and getting creative. That's right. It's all about that these days. Yeah. Perfect. Thanks, Kate. Okay. Here we are at Coach House. Again, this is our first winter well being day. And I mean, hats off to Charlotte, who basically has organized. Everything, haven't you, Charlotte? <laughs> so Charlotte has done an amazing job. Um, and what do we have in here, Charlotte? We've got... Um, she's got a wholesale notebook and pen. Um, oh, great. A description of the candles. <gasps> yeah, so they're, everybody's getting the candles, which are really Matt Britton candles. So we have these made bespoke for us. And they're soy candles. Yes, they've got the English Garden Matt Britton branded candles. Yep, English Garden Mapperton branded candles. Yeah. So there you go. And we've got a little bit of a 100 acres, which is a really nice brand new brand as well. And it's grapefruit and Roman chamomile. And again, this is like all sort of natural. Uh, uh, yeah, so there we go. Um, it's exciting. And we've got foraging today. Well, we've got yoga, then lunch, foraging, craft, and sound bath. Yeah. So we're gonna go check on the smoothie right now. Foraged from the kitchen garden. Foraged from the kitchen garden. Okay, so Mark, do you know how my weird smoothie actually works? Do you have the zhuzhur? Do you need another zhuzhur? No, we should have, we've got one upstairs. Okay, because I've got, got the big one that you've got us. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so that's, that's how it works. Okay, so I hope it should taste okay. <laughs> I mean, it did when I made it in the kitchen. So, if yeah. And you can <laughs> you can throw it in. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Okay, great. And then we're ready for Buddha bowl, right? Yeah. We've got nice new bowls as well. Oh yeah, let me see. I've got the green the plant based. Green plant based bowls. There we go. These are lovely. They're nice, aren't they? Are they IKEA? They're yeah. IKEA. We yeah. love IKEA. Yeah, no, we do. They're great for their bowls. This is brilliant. So, yeah. Okay, good. Okay, so excellent. Fingers crossed. I'm sure it'll be fine. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go set up the sound system now, just to make sure that's all working. And yeah. So, so this is the space where we do yoga. Here we just clean the floors, and I'm just gonna put these lovely plants down and sort of. Ooh, there we go. Okay, and I'm gonna take. And there's some, just some extra mats here. I think I'll do pink. I'll take a pink one. Yeah. We'll take this pink one here. That will be mine. And just in case people, do I like that one? No, I think I'm gonna, anyway, I might change that. Um, and I'll put this plant here. I think that will be nice. We get two plants. And yeah, I think pink is actually quite a good color. We'll go here, teach everybody. And then underneath here, there is the speaker system. Here we go, this is T75, okay, found it. Fantastic. Let's make sure it's connecting. Nope, that's not working. So connect to a device. Okay, now I'm gonna connect it here. Okay. Anybody? Is that it? Yeah, okay, we're saying yes, but okay, perfect. So that's all connected. So that's it. So 
Guests are going to be arriving momentarily, and I'm going to get some behind the scenes filming on this camera. So just a little bit of behind the scenes so that you can see, and also I want to be able to use that to obviously publicize for future wellness um, days here at Matberton. But I am, I'm really excited. I'm a little bit nervous. Anytime I do something for the first time, I always do get a little bit nervous, but as my husband always reminds me, nerves are good, it means that you care, and I definitely care about this. So over and out, and um, yeah, so look forward to, for you guys to see the behind the scenes. Here we go, here's our um, vegan and gluten-free <gasps> um, lunch for the yogis today. Oh my goodness! Yeah, nice you guys! Up. This looks beautiful. This is just brilliant. Well done, you guys. I mean, fantastic, brilliant. We've just had this amazing plant-based Buddha bowl. So delicious. Uh, then there's a vegan brownie. Everybody's getting teas and coffees before they go to forage. All right, we're getting ready for them to take these little buckets. It's so exciting, they're going foraging. Everybody is foraging right now. You can see the gardens in beautiful autumn color. There's lovely trees and plants, and bushes and hedges that they can all forage from for their crowns. So you can see my crown on my head. Obviously I didn't make it, wish I did, but Kate did from Rambling Rose and they've all foraged and they are about to make theirs as well. This is incredible, all foraged from Mapperton. Now we're getting ready for a sound bath with Ella, say hi. Ella's amazing, she does all my yoga retreats and my wellness days, she's incredible. So you can see the lovely view we have here. It's beautiful. Hello, Martin. Hello, Luke. Doing a bit of painting, a bit of cure rust on metal. I don't think we know what cure rust is. So this is a chair or a bench and it needs a repaint. Yep. Mm -hmm. And so you're... Putting on the de-rust. There we the, go. The de-rust, yeah. On the bare metal that I've scraped off, because that is white and there's a bit of bare metal coming through. So what I've done right. is put that over and it just stops the rust. Then it'll have an undercoat. Right. Then it'll have the top coat, which is going to be white. White. I heard there was some debate about Over, whether, whether it was going to be white or green. And the famous Mapperton green paint. Mapperton green. Might be. I don't yeah. know yet. But I've so, heard that my mother quite likes these things to be white. She does. I've done them in white for many years many now. Many years. But there was talk from somebody else that I ought to perhaps do it Change in green. Change the colour. Change the colour. But I tell so, you what, mm -hmm. having worked with my mother for many years, Mm -hmm. You'll know that she's quite keen to keep things as they I are. I think it'll stay like that. So in that case, I think we'll stick with the white. I think it'll be white, Luke. Think? Yes, and, it will and be. I'm trying to remember where this bench goes. It actually went outside here because yeah, this right. was the ticket office and people used to people, sit outside. People would just sit out there, So they? it hasn't been out much. Yeah, yeah. But, so I thought a good time to give them a good, right. clean so, and... So let, me, let me have a quick go. Please do. I, do. do I need here we those go. There you go. Or can I just do it? Okay, okay, so here we go. Anything like that. Tiny and then, bit, and then you only goes, need a splash. So that, that colour comes up because it of the reaction. It goes grey after a while with the reaction. Oh, I've rather overdone it. Oh, it doesn't matter, but is that all right? it will, with the bare yeah. metal is, it'll go a grey colour. Okay. Like that, it started already. And look on the side there. That's what it does. That's yeah. the idea of it. Yeah, I had a really so. good painting lesson from Lee the other day. Ah, in that so, case, so I'm getting fair enough. Of, I won't say any more <laughs> on that one. Well, what, why? Were you going to be critical? No, I'm not going to be critical, Lou. No, no. Okay. you carry on. You're doing very nicely. No, it's all right. Thank if you. you want to be critical, as long as no, it's constructive. No, I won't do that. Because I can always improve but, my technique. But I think but I'm doing, I think I'm doing. I'm amazed how quickly it goes blue. It's like it, it does. It, it goes it red, and then it goes black. It will go blue because no, the black. chemical reaction with the metal. With the metal, yeah. It's then it goes blackish. It's got a, a, yeah. a, quite a pungent smell to it. It is. Well. It's very strong a smell. That's why yeah. I have the doors open. This is one of the very first jobs when I first came down here many go, years ago, painting benches. That's okay. what got me started here. Starting at Mapperton, we Starting at Mapperton was painting benches, Mapperton green. Do you know that painting benches mm. at Mapperton over the decades? Mm feels like a really mindful, rewarding it does. thing to and do. It does, and it goes back many years. I don't know how many, but it goes back many years. Yeah. It goes back to the 90s. Do you get to sit in those benches sometimes afterwards and just mm -hmm. sit there and think, 
This I is painted one of my that. painted benches. I do. do. I think yeah. that's an achievement. It is an achievement. It is. <laughs> yeah. And I enjoy doing it. That's and why I like doing it. And we're very grateful, Martin. Thank I you. like doing it. I'm going to give that back to you. Okay. Thank you, Luke. And, that's um, a nice job. Thank you very much. It's all done. I can pack up and go home now. <laughs> that doesn't sound bad. Sorry. Go have a well-deserved cup of tea. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. Bye, Martin. Thank you so much. Okay.